When people find out that by having a will and having to go through probate, they find out that anything in probate is public, public information, meaning anyone has access to it. A lot of people ask, well, how can I avoid probate when I pass? So there are a few things that you can do in order to avoid your family or loved ones having to go through probate and bypassing that whole process, which can take months or years. So the first thing you want to do is your bank accounts. If you have a bank account and you have specific beneficiaries that you want to have the proceeds or the monies in those accounts, make sure you have a POD or a payable on death. You can get that form from the bank in which your accounts are held. It's a very simple process. And so when you pass, then those monies would go to whoever you have listed as your beneficiaries on those accounts. Number two, anything that lists beneficiaries, things like life insurance or retirement accounts, those things are not subject to probate court because they already have predetermined beneficiaries. So again, you want to make sure that those beneficiaries are up to date and current, especially if you may have been married at one point and you listed your spouse on there and you are now divorced. Make sure that those items are current and that you have the correct beneficiaries on those. Number three applies to any real property that you may have, including any land or homes, especially if you have it titled or you own it with another person, such as a spouse. In the state of Georgia, it is not automatic for the property to pass to the surviving spouse or title holder if you pass. There has to be specific language in your security deed or warranty deed to ensure that the property is transferred automatically upon your your death or your passing to the remaining remaining title holder or holders. So you wanna make sure, again, that you have that specific language. You can check your deed, it is public record, or you can just look at your closing papers when you purchase the property in the state of Georgia, just to make sure that you do have the correct language so that you can avoid probate. Lastly, again, because you know that wills are public, and all the information as far as values, monies in the account, um, beneficiaries, people, all that is listed on the probate petitions when you have to go through probate. In order to avoid probate, simply create a trust. Some people know it as a living trust. Some people know it as a revocable trust. It does not mean that you give up any assets while you're still alive. But when you pass, then the trust does not have to go through probate and any beneficiaries that you have, they automatically get the property according to the terms of the trust. Again, avoiding probate, avoiding it being public information, because I tell you from personal and professional experience that once you file um, a probate petition, then you are getting letters, you're getting people driving by the houses, properties, and they're trying to get in contact with you. Most of them are legit. They just want to buy your property, buy your homes, but some of them may not be legit. And so in order to avoid that and just keep it out of probate, to keep it out of the public records, you can simply create a trust. So just to summarize four things that you can do in order to avoid the probate process, if you have bank accounts, make sure you get a POD, meaning that when you pass um, the monies are automatically transferred to whoever you have listed as a beneficiary. You can get those claim forms from your local bank. You also have those accounts or policies like life insurance. Sometimes you have retirement accounts that actually ask for beneficiaries. Make sure those beneficiaries are current. They do not have to go through probate. Also, if you have property that you own with another person, make sure that it's titled correctly so that in the event, if you do pass, that the property is automatically transferred to the surviving title holders. And lastly, you can get a trust. Again, listed as living trust or revocable trust. That is one way to avoid probate altogether. So if you are a resident of Georgia or an estate that you are handling is in Georgia, you can reach me, schedule a consultation. If you have questions, if you want to prepare your estate plan, will, trust, quick claim, deed, power of attorney, health care directive, also do uncontested probates, you can reach me at www.johnsonlawpractice.com, schedule a consultation, and we'll go from there. See you soon. Bye.